hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends i uh, hope you are all doing well today i'm with another uh, subject that is applied physics uh, for the triple e stream students who are uh, studying in the second semester right now okay i hope uh, you have started your preparation as your examinations are very near now so let me discuss here the passing strategy for the physics subject and let me tell you one thing over here physics is the subject which can be passed only by theoretical portion okay if you leave the numerical part but my suggestion to you guys is go through numericals also which are very easier ones okay if uh, i consider the first module and third module likewise uh, laser module right that is the third module actually so those numericals are very easier ones i will tell you later on what you have to do so first of all let me discuss here the module first which is the passing module okay and very easier one in which uh, you have to focus on super important questions like uh, state heisenberg's uncertainty principle and uh, show that electron doesn't exist inside the nucleus okay or sometimes they will ask you show non-existence of a nucleus okay sorry non-existence of an electron inside the nucleus using heisenberg's uncertainty principle this is the most important question it may be the seven marks right next is um, set up a time independent schrodinger wave equation for a free particle in one dimension and in uh, some and sometimes they will ask you write down the expression for three dimensions also no need to derive the third dimension uh, what we call equation uh, this schrodinger equation only you have to derive the equation schrodinger wave equation in one dimension but they may ask you sometimes write down the equation for third dimension also okay i hope you got it so this may be also seven marks next is starting from schrodinger time independent wave equation obtain the expressions for energy eigenvalues and normalized eigenwave function for a particle in one dimensional infinite potential well okay this is again a nine marks a super important question okay if you consider the earlier schemes also this was the most important question considered in the vtu examination right i hope you will uh, clear it and you, you will go through this uh, equation then uh, give the physical significance of a wave function and explain probability density and normalization okay next is explain de Broglie hypothesis arrive at the expression for de Broglie wavelength write a short note on max born in interpretation this may be the six marks question okay so these are the five questions which you have to go through in the module first you can easily score 15 marks okay by this much portion but i am telling you dear friends go through the numerical parts of the module first also okay those, those are very simpler ones and if i will get time so i will definitely solve those uh, numericals in uh, in my one of my videos okay later on so let me know in the comment section if you want uh, the problem solving videos of numericals so that i can focus on that portion also right so now the again passing module which is the module third uh, define numerical aperture obtain an expression for numerical aperture in an optical fiber this is the super important question next is uh, describe the principal construction and working of co2 co2 laser carbon dioxide laser with energy level diagram okay obtain an expression for energy density in terms of einstein's quotient this may be the six marks question discuss the applications of laser uh, and also mention any four characteristics of lasers right next is write a short note on interaction of radiation with matter last but not least is uh, what is attenuation discuss uh, different types of attenuation in optical fiber okay also go through uh, numericals of optical fibers also okay uh, only one thing is there if you just practice uh, the problems you will find easiness in uh, physics numericals it is not like the pu uh, pu physics okay that is somehow tough than this engineering physics over there okay so no need to worry go through the numericals also you can score in this particular subject and let me tell you uh, one thing my dear friends you have to start your preparation for now itself for the physics subject it is not the subject which you can tackle in one night only okay i know you are the engineers one night engineers but for physics you have to spend at least 10 days for the preparation okay when i was in the uh, first semester probably i was having the p cycle so i started my preparation uh, one month before okay so that i i was able to score 86 out of 100 in the physics subject okay so if you are thinking that you will cover the physics portion in one night that is not possible okay so i hope you will start your preparation now only okay so now module fifth which is again a passing module okay these three modules are passing which i discussed third first and this fifth one where you have to cover the questions like describe the construction and working of uh, semiconductor laser what is hall effect uh, derive an expression for hall voltage in terms of hall coefficient sometimes they will ask you the definitions of this what is the hall uh, voltage define it okay and uh, what is hall coefficient right i hope you can 
understand uh, this much from your derivation itself derive the expression for fermi energy in terms of uh, energy gap of intrinsic uh, semiconductor it is super important one and derive an expression for electrical conductivity in extrinsic and intrinsic semiconductor explain the construction of uh, working of photo transistor and write down its applications and explain four probe method to determine a resistivity of semiconductor briefly explain law of mass action so these are the seven questions from the model fifth which you should go through okay i am not taking all the syllabus portion uh, that is why the purpose is to make these important question uh, is uh, so that you can find some relief <clears throat> so this much portion is enough uh, in the module fifth i hope you will cover these seven questions from module five also okay now module two in which you have to cover assumptions of quantum free electron theory and define fermi factor and uh, discuss variation of fermi factor with the temperature and energy and explain polarization of dielectric uh, di discuss the mechanism of different types of polarization define superconductivity and critical temperature explain briefly circuit and mention its applications explain the construction and working of maglev vehicles and explain uh, briefly the types of superconductors and also explain meissner's effect okay now uh, the derivation part is derive collagius mosetti equation mention the expression for internal field of one dimensional array of atoms in case of solid dielectrics and outline briefly the solid and liquid dielectrics dielectrics with one example each okay these are the uh, eight questions from model 2 which i have taken from the different papers previous year papers so that uh, you can score in the physics subject okay this much is all about the model second now let let me come to the model four in which you have to cover only uh, five questions discuss about continuity equation derive the expression for displacement current and explain faraday's law of electromagnetic induction ampere circuit law and weyart subert's law derive equation of electromagnetic waves using maxwell's equation in free space state and derive gauss divergence theorem and mention stokes theorem in mathematical form write a short note on uh, fundamentals of vector calculus uh, for example divergence what does the divergence mean what does the gradient mean what does the curve mean okay and uh, if you are convenient go through the numerical part okay this much is the theory theoretical uh, concepts which i discussed in this particular video you can easily pass if you just read this much theory okay if you want to score if you want to score more than 80 definitely you should go through the numerical part so that you can pass the subject with the flying colors okay not only pass you will score also this is my word to you if you just go through these all portions whatever i have mentioned in this video so i wish you all the best for your examinations and make sure you will start your preparation now only otherwise it will be too late uh, if you are just thinking that you will pass the physics subject uh, in one night over the year okay so at the last i want to say one thing that is uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, also press the bell icon so that you will receive the notifications of my videos whenever I will upload. Thank you.